12 of these mine sweeps into the Royal Navy are being built at Auckland, Wellington, and at Port Chalmers. And arrangements have also been made for the construction in New Zealand of motor patrol boats of a special design. The building of naval vessels is only one of our numerous war activities. Employers and workers alike have responded truly with a will to the necessities of the position, and the industrial machine is geared to a high pitch of efficiency indeed. Besides the production of clothing and footwear for military purposes, some 60 factories, including the railway workshops, are now engaged in the manufacture of munitions in very considerable quantities. Just as we are proud of our gallant men serving overseas, so can we be proud too of our effort in the production of war materials. And as HMS Denau takes the water today, she carries with her the best wishes of all New Zealanders for the arduous work which awaits her and those who serve in her. Long ago, New Zealanders built ships for the coastal trade in the days when the main road was the sea. The old skill has been kept alive and has been turned to a new use. Only 12 months ago, it was decided to build minesweepers here, and in double quick time, the ship to be called HMS Henau began to take shape. Now it's August the 28th, 1941, and the Honourable Mr. Sullivan, Minister of Supply, proudly speaks of the skill and ingenuity of New Zealand craftsmen and shipwrights as the new minesweeper is launched. Captain Rogerum expresses the pleasure of the Navy upon this latest addition to its strength. And the Mayor of Auckland presents a Henau seedling to Mrs. Sullivan as a token of the young strength of the ship just built. Henau is christened by Mrs. Sullivan with a bottle of New Zealand wine. And she's away. The solid structure of timber and steel takes on life as it gathers speed down the slipway. A new ship for His Majesty's Navy. There are cheers for the ship and cheers for the men who built her. She is a solid, practical contribution to the war effort. And who knows, perhaps a new beginning to a local industry as old as New Zealand itself. But this ship is only the beginning. As she takes the water, others are being built. A splendid achievement and a fine symbol of New Zealand's active share in the battle for freedom. Thank you.